Well, God bless you. Here it is Sunday. What a week we have been through, the ups and the downs and the good and the bad. And well, But we're still alive. We're still blessed. And, you know, we got a call the other day, and my wife's sister had had a, a massive stroke. She's in ICU. And, you know, it was a hard pill to swallow, as they say. But we know that God's got everything under control, and her life is in the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so there may be some of you right now that a loved one is facing death, or maybe you lost one, and, you know, and you're really feeling, uh, you're feeling down. You, you're really depressed, and you just wonder, God, how could this happen? And I just want to share this, that, you know what, for us that are saved and for our loved ones that are saved, there is that great joy, anticipation that we will see them again in glory. And so I just ask you, you know, uh, can you stand on the Word of God and believe? Jesus told his disciples, he said, I go to my Father's house, and I'm going to prepare a mansion for you, that where I am there you may be also. He wants us there with him. He wants that communion, that fellowship. And so, you know, our life here on earth is, 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 as the Bible says, it's a vapor here today, gone tomorrow. We're like the flowers that bloom and then they begin to wilt and they begin to fade and then they die. Uh, you know, and so, but while we're here, we got to bloom. While we're here, we've got to, we got to put off seed, amen, seed of life and hope and, uh, you know, uh, anticipation in other people, our children and everything that they see that their life is important. Uh, suicide in juveniles is up 70%, they said. Uh, we look around at murder. Murder is up 45, 50%. We look around, you know, we see all this is happening. And, and you know, we ask, why do people just cold-bloodedly kill somebody? Why would an individual stab a woman 50, 60 times, cut her up, put her in a duffel bag, and walk down the sidewalk? And then go and, and you know, uh, to a restaurant. These minds are what I believe turned over to the devil. I believe that these minds are so wicked and perverse. But yet we see this as acceptance through Hollywood. We see that Walt Disney right now, the Disneyland, they're all for, let's teach third, uh, you know, pre-K up to third grade sex education. Let's teach them that homosexuality is all right, transgender is all right. Uh, you know, they want all of this right here. Uh, the evil minds out here that, uh, they just want to, they just want to destroy the value of truth. And so I ask you today, uh, can you be that light? Can you be that uh, hope? Can you be the one that can share with others? Go past your own problems. Go past your own feelings and stand on the perfect word of God. For this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let's rejoice in it and let's be glad. It is time to go serve your king. And so today we're going to praise him. Today we have worship. Today we're going to have fellowship among believers, and then we're going to have the infallible Word of God that is going to instruct us because we believe that in order to accomplish a mission, you must have His permission. So go in the strength and the glory of our Savior. Until next time, this is Bishop Shaver saying, God bless you, and we love you.